Hey Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 6.7, number 21, and we were given this logistic model up here that asked, uh, that was modeling the population of a fish farm um, for, for the years that were going by, and we were asked to find when, to the nearest tenth at least, how long would it take the population to reach 900? So if I want the population to reach 900, I quite literally not need to let that, or excuse me, need to set that equal to 900 because this is the population equation and then I need to solve for t. So that's what you see me starting to do down here. So let's go through my steps so we can check it out. So once I set that equation equal to 900 and I'm right here at this step, the next thing I'm going to do is cross multiply basically or because there's a fraction and my, my variable is in that denominator, I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply or you could think of it as multiplying both sides by 1 plus 9e e to the negative 0.6t, and then I'm getting my variable out of the denominator. So at that point, once you do that, let me erase that here, you have a couple of options. So if I look at this equation as written right here, I actually, the next thing I could have done if I had wanted to is I could have multiplied, excuse me, divided both sides by 900. So I could have, I'm just going to sneak this in here, divided both sides by 900 and canceled here. That would have been fine. And I could have gone about my way. That would be one option. But what I opted to do here was I decided to distribute. It's just another way to go. So I multiplied that through. And then again, keep in mind, always have your eyes on the prize that I want to solve for t. right? So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to subtract the 900 over here. And when you do 1,000 minus 900, you're going to get left with 100. So if we start to look at where we are now, Right now, again, I still I want to get that t all by itself. And so really, I need to isolate my exponential expression, right? I want to isolate e to the negative 0.6t because ultimately I want to log it, but I can't log it until it's isolated. So that's why I divided both sides by 8,100 here. Oops, that should say 8,100. So again, you could have divided by 900 up here, right? That I had mentioned that would have been fine. Eventually, you'll have to divide anyway. So since I opted to distribute first, which is fine, I still have to divide eventually. So I am dividing by 8,100. So this cancels out on this side, and now you see the 1 over 81 here on this side. And let me erase all this because it's getting a little chunked up. And again, I on the prize, right? I still want to get that t isolated. So now it's time to log both sides because I have isolated my exponential term. And so I'm going to opt for the ln on both sides because I know that ln's and e's cancel themselves out, right? Technically, what you see me doing is using the power rule. Um, so what I officially did was I can bring that power down out in front, right, through multiplication, but ln of e, this term right here, is 1. So that's why you see that going away. And then that leaves me with negative 0.6t equaling the ln of 1 over 81. So I'm going to divide by negative 0.6. And sure enough, once I do all of that on my calculator, I get 7.3. And the units on that are years. And I opted just, just to check it on my calculator. Um, so I went and I plugged in my logistic model to y1 and 900 to y2. And keep in mind, I had to adjust my window. So I adjusted the window on my calculator, especially if I wanted the Y to be um, 100. I think I set my Y max probably to 1,000 is my guess. I don't remember exactly what I set it to with these screenshots, but my guess is it's 1,000 because you can see 900s right here, so 1,000 might be a little higher than that. Um, so once I do that, I hit my intersection. Oops, excuse me. Right, and then it's enter, 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 and sure enough, there it is confirming that it was 7.3. So I did it by hand. I mean, by hand up here, admittedly, I still use the calculator right here to get this number. And then I did it solely on my graphing calculator here. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.